हेलो एंड वेलकम टू कृषि जागरण बिजनेस प्लेटफॉर्म दैट कीप्स यू अपडेटेड विद ऑल द एग्री न्यूज ऑफ द नेशन दिस इज यश सक्सेना लेट्स टेक अ क्विक लुक एट द टॉप हेडलाइंस ऑफ द वीक मिनिस्टर ऑफ एक्सटर्नल अफेयर्स एस जयशंकर होस्ट मिलिट लंच इन न्यूयॉर्क सेंटर अलॉट्स अप्रोक्सीमेटली 1200 लाख टन फूड ग्रेन एंड रुपीस 3.91 लाख करोड़ एज सब्सिडी अंडर प्रधानमंत्री गरीब कल्याण अन्न योजना इंडिया लार्जेस्ट एग्री शो किसान 2022 स्टार्ट्स इन पुणे एक्सपेक्ट्स 100,000 प्लस विजिटर्स फुटफॉल कृषि जागरण बैग्स एग्री इंडिया स्टार्टअप असेंबली एंड अवार्ड्स 2022 एट ग्लोब ऑयल एंड शुगर समिट इन गोवा नेम्ड बेस्ट एग्रीकल्चरल न्यूज प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ 2022 एट एपीएसी बिजनेस अवार्ड्स UPASI urges finance minister Nirmala Sitaraman to increase funds for plantation sector in the union budget over 3 lakh farmers may not get 13th installment of pm kisan due to unverified land records Modi's business policy has boosted the number of startups has increased from 400 to 80000 says Kailash Chaudhary SBI join hands with Samunniti to ensure funding to FPOs Lemkin India introduces Lemkin Kaya Knight 7SX road retailer at Kisan Exhibition 2022. New Holland launches Simma 30, a mini tractor at Kisan Agri Fair 2022. Pori Agri Tech Trade Show organized by Chemico India kicks off in Hyderabad. Gramanthi organizes Kisan Sammelan in Baran. More than 100 farmers showed up at the event. Veku links MOU with Yara India ex- expands its agri input portfolio. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman addressed FICCI's 95th annual convention and annual general meeting in New Delhi. India to help Bangladesh government agrees to supply 5 lakh tons of parboiled rice. LN Electronics to open company for public will launch its IPO on coming Tuesday. Kfin Technologies to open for public will launch its IPO next week. Zeta Farms a new startup bags orders for potato farming from Makin Foods. To make a strong hold in the EV market Mahindra and Mahindra plans to invest 10000 crore rupees in Pune EV plant. Shah Rukh Khan's son Aryan Khan announces launch of his new luxury lifestyle brand will offer premium vodka to public. 3 day G20 finance track led by India kicks off in Bengaluru. Hindustan Unilever buys stake in two Indian companies enters well-being market. Dalmia Group to acquire JP Group Cement Assets worth rupees 5666 crores. Prime Minister National Apprenticeship Mela takes place in 197 districts of the nation. Tata Group partners with Apple plans to open 100 exclusive Apple stores. CNH Industrial introduces first ever LNG powered tractor. Sets Farm is all set to woo customers with its product in Bangalore. Nations Space and Agriculture Department signs MOU to develop Krishi Decision Support System. Israel to consider cooperation in agriculture tourism sector with Kerala. New Zealand passes world's first tobacco law to ban smoking for next generation. So this was all about the top headlines from the past week. Let's take a look at our quiz question. The question for the day is on your screen. Who discovered the phenomena of transduction in bacteria? Option A, Zinder and Ledberg. Option B, Tatum. Option C, Griffith. Or option D, Ledberg. You can reply to us via SMS on the number double eight triple zero two three two zero four. For more updates on agri news, keep watching Krishi Jagran Business. This is Yash Saxena signing off.